Hi. Hey, hi, Teresa. Hey. Yeah, hi. Um, so I'm Teresa from Teresa's Reviews, and I love both of your work, especially Blue's Clues. My mm -hmm. daughters really loved Gabby's Dollhouse. Um, they thought it was adorable, and as a parent, I was happy to have it on TV. They love the unboxings and the doll shows. They often see things like that on YouTube, but this, you know, was so much more, like, appropriate and taught them important lessons. And they both do doll stop motion themselves, so it really spoke to them also. Whoa. And I teach one of the highest rating American Girl classes on OutSchool. It's all about filmmaking with dolls. So what advice wow. might you give for girls that are interested in learning the technology of animation or mixed media or for developing strong storylines? Ooh, a very good, good question. question. I think, you know, what's fantastic about this um, world of digital natives is that how things are organically, you know, we did stop motion with Max, I stop motion. Um, I don't know what program you use, but that definitely highly recommend um, I stop motion. Um, for stories, I think keeping a journal. Uh, hi, how are you? Glad you like the show. Yes, definitely journaling. And, you know, one of the things that we love about the show is that Gabby, the conceit is that this is Gabby's own show that she's sort of, when you, when you join her in her bedroom in the live action in the beginning, she's sort of filming this all on her phone, um, you know, using things that are around the room, her stuffed animal, different, her different props in her room. Um, and it's sort of using your imagination and the things that you have around you in your home and with technology now you can make your own movie and the more you know the more that you make the more inspired you get and that's sort of how the stories come to us too is we just sit and think about what we have done and what what more would we want to add and where else could we go so i think uh congratulations that's yeah, amazing that's, that that's... your daughters are into that yeah i, I, would... I love the journaling aspect i, I think that's yeah and too with like good old pen and paper like even storyboarding you know, thinking the story through visually of what shots, you know, breaking it down into what you want to tell in a scene and a, what's the, what's the important um, takeaway at this important moment in your story? What do you want to show? And just having, thinking of that way as a storyteller, visually, how you want to tell. Awesome. Thanks for that advice. Sure. Absolutely. Where'd your cutie go? We want to ask her what her favorite cat was. I think she went to do some schoolwork. Sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. important. That's important. <laughs> um, are there any fun facts behind the scenes of coming up with story ideas or working with new talent? Uh, like, is it Lay Layla Lockhart? Lila. 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 Yeah, um, any fun facts of things that you guys haven't shared yet? Yeah, one of the things I know we, I think it was this group we shared the cat rat that Donovan Patton, who was host of Blues Clues, is the voice of cat rat. Um, one thing is that, uh, or Gabby is, the original Gabby is Jen's daughter, is modeled after Jen's daughter. Um, one fun thing, fun fact that came up in research was we had, um, we were telling the story of the pilot that was the episode with um, the spaceship. I think is the first first episode and we had cakey cat and in the script it was called sprinkle time and when we showed yes. the little animation this cute little four-year-old goes sprinkle party and we both looked at each other and like yes it is and that's good so that's how, that's how sprinkle party came into the lexicon of cakey cat we as adults just yes. had sprinkle time but of course it's a sprinkle party so it's just fun. My son, my son, my youngest um, would always give a hug attack when I came home from work. When I got off the <laughs> elevator, he'd come running at me, hug attack. That's super cute. Um, you guys obviously love cats, but you've also worked on Blue's Clues. My daughter loves dogs. Dog and she was like, but the <laughs> character like cats, like what am I gonna do? <laughs> Are you guys going to include any dogs in the show at any point? We talked of about course. it. Oh, there's your dog. Mm -hmm. Or is that a kitty? I can't tell. It's a, it's a very oh, soft oh, dog. Oh, you little sprout. <laughs> yes, we definitely, we love dogs. We're, we're, we're dog we love people. all animals. We just felt there was already so many dog shows, of course, with Blue's True. Clues. <laughs> but we, we have, wanted to give cats a chance. We have talked about writing an episode where uh, a dog comes to visit. We unbox 
a little dog. A little dog, and he comes to visit. Oh, nice. He comes okay. alive in the dollhouse and wreaks havoc. But <laughs> <laughs> but we were joking. We could also do a a DreamWorks spinoff show of like Dougie's doghouse, and it's a dollhouse <laughs> that's all dogs that her brother sets up or her sister sets up, and they have dueling dollhouses. Um, as a certified teacher, I feel like growth mindset is incredibly important, especially for that preschool age when kids can get so discouraged, and especially in these times. I know you mentioned possible toys coming out in the future, as well as the Spin Master app. Are there printables that might go along with the show's release that bloggers can share that would support children to learn the growth mindset concept? Um, and since it's based on the mindset book, does a curriculum already exist that parents might use with the show to help support them? Yes, I know that um, DreamWorks is working on printables because I've seen them. We, we kind of oversee all the ancillary and extended play that they do. And I do remember seeing printables. Um, I'm sure we can follow up with that of exactly when that is coming out. And, you know, we do have a curriculum researcher who helps us come up with points. And that's a fabulous idea of, you know, writing down some um, highlights of growth mindset for parents mm -hmm. and, you know, what you get in each episode. We love that. Awesome. Thank you.